What's good y'all? So today I have another tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to change your health bars in Mugen. So I'm going to show you guys the Mugen I have right here. So I'm going to do the example on this default Mugen. This is the 1.1 Mugen that we all had at one point. This can work on the screen packs or any Mugen here. So we all have these health bars, the basic ones. So let's show you how to change it. Super easy too. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the Mugen data folder right here and we're going to be looking for the mugen.cfg notepad file right here okay and now let's go down until we see the config section this is the rules section let's go down config section okay so first we see our game width and game height we're going to need these numbers here so we're going on 1280 by 720 you can always change it to a smaller mugen here or larger but i always stick to the regular here 1280 by 720 okay keep those numbers in mind and then you're going to want to go to mugenarchive.com the holy grail this is the home page here we're going to go to the download tab all right and then you're going to go down to the add-on section go to add-ons click life bars and this is where you're going to want to download all the life bars you want but you're going to want to find one that's 1280 by 720 like this one here that's the beautiful joe health bar Okay, we can look at it. This is one that you can possibly might want to use. Um, let's let it load up. And here we go. So this one looks like that. If you wanted something like that, you can download this one. It works for the size. This is 1280 by 720. That's what the size you're going to be looking for. Just make sure you guys don't get one like this. This is 640 by 480. If you get one that's smaller, it will literally be really tiny for our size Mugen. But if you are running on that size Mugen, if, you're, if your Mugen is smaller, you're going to want to get a smaller one. Just go based off of the size of your Mugen. All right. So I, I already downloaded a couple here for this tutorial. So let's try them out. I have three right here. So we can just use these. All right. So let's go back in our Mugen folder. Now we're at the beginning of our Mugen folder. Okay. I'm going to open up the life bar right here. This is the one I downloaded from Mugen Archive. All right. So I'm going to drag and drop this the life bars into the data folder okay so i just dragged and drop my life bar i downloaded into the mugen data folder on our 1.1 mugen here this works for 1.1 1.0 screen packs whatever it's all the same technique here okay so let's close this up so now we just dragged and drop this life bar into our mugen folder okay the next step is we want to be able to see it change on our system. So we have the health bar in our game at this point, but now we have to edit some files so it will show up on the game. So what we're going to do is go to system.def. But here's the thing. Some Mugens like this one I'm running here has a Mugen 1 folder. If you have a Mugen 1 folder, you're going to do one more step and click that and then go to system.def. But if you don't have that Mugen 1 folder, which is okay, you just go straight to system.def from here. But I have it, so I'm going to go into the Mugen 1 folder and then I'm going to click system.def, which is this notepad file right here. And then we're going to be looking for a section called fight equals. So scroll down until you see files and then in the files area, you'll see fight equals fight dot def. This is the line we'll be changing a little bit. OK, so keep this to the side here. Keep this to the side here. Let's go back, back. Actually, actually right here. We go back to where the life bars are. So life bars is the name of the health bar that we got. So now all we got to do is simply type in right here right in front of fight we're gonna type in life bars slash so now we just put fight equals life bars slash fight dot def keep everything else the same all we're doing is adding this name of our folder of the life bars right there and we're, we're basically redirecting fight equals to this new life bar folder and it's gonna read the, the fight dot def inside of that folder all right so let's save this we're saving that and now back to the mugen folder 
we're basically done now let's open up mugen.exe and let's see if everything worked out the reasons why it wouldn't work is if you misspelled something or if you didn't save it it'll show up as the old uh default ones you already had if you didn't if you mistype something it'll literally probably crash all right here we go let's check it out boom and there we go <laughs> The Round new health nine. bars comes with fight. a new announcer, comes with a new font for the fight intro font and the KO font. Combo counters will be changed. All that's going to be changed just by adding these different health bars. There you go. And that's one example. So let's try it again because sometimes you guys download one and it's completely different from the tutorial. So we're going to do a couple here. So let's try the next one. So we have this one right here. Let's open it up. I also downloaded all these from Moving Archive. This one is called Life underscore CVS2. Let's try these health bars. So same process here. Open up the data folder right here. And we're gonna drag and drop the new downloaded life bar into the data folder anywhere here. Okay, and you don't have to delete the other life bars. You can have 10 life bar folders in this data folder and it's okay. You know, it doesn't even matter. The only thing that matters will be on this system.def notepad. You just want to change out, instead of having the old name, life bars, you're just going to change the name to the new one here. So our new life bar is called life underscore C V S two. And then that's it. File save. There we go. Now go back. Let's open up Mugen. And let's see if these work out well too. It's that simple. There you go. And let's see. Bop, 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 bop. What do we have here? There we go. The this new set of health bars. Right there. That simple. See these ones basically have the same thing, but just different announcer. The count the the uh the counter on this one's really fast. That's something you'd have to change on um the data folder in there. But Live and there we go. Die. We have new font, Fight. new health bar. There we go. All right, let's try the last one here. This is the third one I downloaded. This is called the MFH, MFH folder here. So let's drag and drop MFH into the data folder. There you go. And let's close that. And now all we're going to do is delete this name here. And we're just going to put mfh slash and save we're changing nothing else on this system.def only this line here with the name of the folder of the health bars all right so let's go back into the mugen folder open up the mugen exe game and let's see how these health bars look so it's a simple process and the good thing is that it comes with if you want to have different announcers and combo hits and all that, all that comes with it. There we go. So the next tutorial I'm going to do will be the tutorial on how to change just the announcer without having to change the health bar. So there we go. Here's our new health bar. Looks good. New font and everything. Yeah, so for the next tutorial, if you want to have a new... Uh, announcer but you like for instance you like these health bars but you want to change the announcer I'm gonna do a tutorial on that coming soon and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial I hope it helped you guys out if it did drop a like and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial peace Level up.